Many among his disciples heard this and said, This is tough teaching, too tough to swallow. Jesus sensed that his disciples were having a hard time with this and said, Does this rattle you completely? What would happen if you saw the Son of Man ascending to where he came from? The Spirit can make life. Sheer muscle and willpower don't make anything happen. Every word I've spoken to you is a spirit word, and so it is life-making. But some of you are resisting, refusing to have any part in this. Jesus knew from the start that some weren't going to risk themselves with him. He knew also who would betray him. He went on to say, This is why I told you earlier that no one is capable of coming to me on his own. You get to me only as a gift from the Father. After this, many of his disciples left. They no longer wanted to be associated with him. Then Jesus gave the twelve their chance. Do you also want to leave? Peter replied, Master, to whom would we go? You have the words of real life, eternal life. We've already committed ourselves, confident that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus responded, Haven't I handpicked you, the twelve? Still, one of you is a devil. He was referring to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. This man, one from the twelve, was even then getting ready to betray him. Later, Jesus was going about his business in Galilee. He didn't want to travel in Judea because the Jews there were looking for a chance to kill him. It was near the time of tabernacles, a feast observed annually by the Jews. His brothers said, Why don't you leave here and go up to the feast? so your disciples can get a good look at the works you do. No one who intends to be publicly known does everything behind the scenes. If you're serious about what you're doing, come out into the open and show the world. His brothers were pushing him like this because they didn't believe in him either. Jesus came back at them, Don't pressure me. This isn't my time. It's, it's your time. It's always your time. You have nothing to lose. The world has nothing against you, but it's up in arms against me. It's against me because I expose the evil behind its pretensions. You go ahead. Go up to the feast. Don't wait for me. I'm not ready. It's not the right time for me. He said this and stayed on in Galilee, but later, after his family had gone up to the feast, He also went, but he kept out of the way, careful not to draw attention to himself. The Jews were already out looking for him, asking around, where is that man? There was a lot of contentious talk about him circulating through the crowds. Some were saying, he's a good man, but others said, not so, he's selling snake oil. This kind of talk went on in guarded whispers because of the intimidating Jewish leaders.